What's going on, Team 219? I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all healthy. So, we are officially in to Module 10. Double digits in the modules. Crazy to think how far we've come throughout the course of this school year. So, we just finished Module 9 where we learned about greenhouses and planning your own foods and being resourceful like we always say right always use your resources and we are going to be shifting in to a new type of genre and a new type of idea or central idea which we're going to talk about in a second as we get into module 10. So my hope is that you got a chance to watch the YouTube video that I put up in the earlier portion of the lesson today, the ELA lesson. And that is going to help lay the foundation for what it is we're gonna be learning about in this particular module. Now, luckily for us, this is gonna be a short read, it's only two pages. So you're gonna be watching this video on Monday, you're gonna be watching the story of the week video on Wednesday, which is gonna obviously be a longer video. but. The skill that we're gonna be working on today is central idea. What is a central idea? I want you to think of a central idea like a chair. And we did this lesson actually when we were in person earlier in the year. And the central idea is the, is the seat, right? That's where you're sitting on, okay? But how do you know what the central idea is? Well, you know the central idea by the supporting details that you can find in the story. So let's picture those as the legs of a chair and all those legs they need to be there or what you're not going to be able to it's not going to be a chair right you're not going to be able to sit on it so the central idea is you take all the supporting ideas throughout the story and it's going to give you one central idea or central theme what is the lesson that you're supposed to learn so the short read this week can be found on page 354 and the title is why we share stories so my hope is, is that you guys are going to be able to follow along with Mr. White as I read. I may stop at different points of the story to kind of talk and maybe give you guys some questions to prompt you throughout. So we're on paragraph one. You probably know some stories that have been passed down over time. For example, there's this tale of Cinderella who loses a glass slipper and finds a prince. You may also know about Jack the boy who climbs a beanstalk and stands up to a mean giant. Both of these tales have been around for many, many years. Why do people tell certain stories again and again? People might tell stories to teach lessons about the right way to behave. They might share stories about a people's history. A story might recount or tell about how something came to be. It may tell about a hero or give advice. All these stories together make up a people's folklore. So I'm going to stop right there. There's two words, recount and folklore. Two words that you may have never heard before, but hopefully you got a chance to look at those because they are some of our vocabulary words that we're looking at this week. Uh, maybe you have heard of Cinderella. Maybe you have heard of Jack and the Beanstalk. Maybe you've never heard of them, but... What this is saying is that there are stories that have been passed down through generations to essentially teach lessons. And I particularly like the one where they say, maybe the story is trying to teach people a lesson, okay? A life lesson for you to take on as you go from elementary to middle, from middle to high school. So let's get on to paragraph three. People often pass down stories that teach lessons. For example, Cinderella is good-hearted and hard-working, and she is rewarded with true love. Jack, the beanstalk climber, is brave and adventurous, and he is rewarded with treasure. In the African folklore, Jackal and Lion, a jackal is stalked by a hungry lion. The jackal uses his wits to escape, not being eaten. That's his reward. The story teaches us we can solve problems with our wits, Lessons like these never get old. So I want you to think about one of the mantras that we always talk about, especially in math. Is there only one way to solve a problem? That's a life lesson. It's not just for math. There are multiple ways to solve multiple problems. Think about that as you're moving on in life. Paragraph four. Long ago, 
When people have a question about how the world works, they make up a myth, legend, or folk tale to explain it. For example, the Native American tale, Crow Brings the Daylight, tells a story about the sun's movements. In the story, the Arctic, the land of the north, is always dark. Then, Crow goes to the warm lands of the south and brings back light. Even though science now explains how the sun affects Earth, people still love to share this story. Long ago, it helped the people of the Arctic explain why the sun is in the sky. Again, what is the word that we may or may not know? Myth, okay? What these myths, they may not be real, okay, but they're still stories to teach us a lesson. Paragraph five. Above all, stories have to be entertaining. Otherwise, people would not retell them. Boring sto stories become forgotten over time. Long ago, stories brought people together and helped distract them from the day's worries. The funnier or more exciting the story, the better. One example is the Native American tale, Coyote and Turtle Run a Race. It tells how Turtle tricked Coyote and beat him in a foot race. It has been making people laugh for generations. Think about the video that you watched earlier. All right, we're pulling it all together. Paragraph six. If you're lucky, you may inherit some stories from your own people. Your people are probably your family, but they may also be the people in your town, in your school, or any group you spend time with. If you do hear a good story, be sure to pass it along. Every time you share a story, you are helping to keep it alive. So I'm really glad that we got a chance to have this short read this week because what it's going to do is, again, it's laying the foundation for all the stories that we are going to read throughout the week. I'm really looking forward to this story of the week. I think you guys are really going to uh, enjoy it. I think you're going to enjoy the genre. And other than that, we're getting rocking and rolling here, people. Remember all of our mantras. Use your resources. Teamwork makes the dream work. Is there only one way to solve a problem? And there's a lot to be grateful for. Miss you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy.